to use your name. You know, everybody in this room knows the husband is looking, to say the least, very suspicious. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? He has not tried to cooperate with us in any way, shape, or form. Everybody that walked in this door cooperated, mm -hmm. had alibis, yeah. was eager to do it. This ass had the nerve to walk through here, not one, not two, but three attorneys. Do you wish to make a statement or talk to us now? No, no. Uh, who got 15000 just to go throw on an attorney? Exactly. In order for us to obtain a arrest warrant, we need probable cause. We got to be able to put his ass in Baton Rouge on the day of her disappearance, and we're going to need physical evidence. We got physical evidence to be in his similarities well, we in her undergarments. Everyone can be excluded, except for the one sample from the Hummer. That's the ex-husband. I don't think we have enough. I think well, we I don't think we have enough either. I think, I think we, we need some more physical evidence. That's correct. And we have to have motive. Without a motive, how the hell are we going to put him in jail? So what do y'all think about the second wife? Check this out. One month after his divorce was final with Eugene, he's marrying another woman. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I want the second ex-wife here in that interview room. We need to talk to her. Yeah. Let's get to work. Let's, Let's do it. Eugenie's ex-husband remarried just one month after he divorced Eugenie. We believe that he and Eugenie were still seeing each other based on the DNA that was found in her undergarments. So hopefully the second ex-wife can fill in some holes. 